Welcome to Bucket Tutorials number two, virtual 3D pick using Apple Motion and Photoshop. First thing you want to do is open up Photoshop, pick a photo that you want to manipulate, uh, right click in the lower right hand corner, duplicate uh, the background, call it background copy, turn off the original background and just manipulate your, your copy. First tool you're going to use is the clone stamp, it's on the left hand side, clone stamp tool. You use this to create your different layers within the photograph. You can modify the size of the stamp tool. If you've never used this, play around with it. You use the option key on your keyboard to select the area that you want to clone. Uh, and then you will uh, use this to create the background layer, which is our first layer. You're going to wipe out everything in the foreground and middle ground and just extend your background all the way from the top of the picture to the bottom of the picture. And this will take a little bit of time to get it looking realistic. And this tutorial I've used a photo from Vail, Colorado, the skier. Once you're done, uh, obviously save your program and then uh, rename this background copy to just, uh, in this case, BG for background. Uh, then right click on background and duplicate layer again because you're going to make another layer using the original background. When you select it, it'll ask you to name it. You'll, we'll call it background copy. Uh, and then shut off the new background that you just created. Go back to your background copy. And so now you're back with the original photograph that we started with. And now we'll be focusing on the middle layer. You're going to use your stamp tool again to wipe out the foreground and everything. Just extend this middle layer all the way down to the bottom of the screen. Uh, now a little bit different than what we did on the background. You'll want to cut this layer out using the lasso to select it. I'm just going to do a rough selection and once you've done this then you're going to right click on the layer and go to layer via cut. So when you click on that it creates a new layer of just this, this, sec this selected section. Turn off the background copy so you're just seeing the layer then go to your eraser tool. Uh, again you can modify the size of the tool just like with the stamp. Then you're going to use the eraser tool to go in and clean this layer up. Uh, obviously it's a picture of trees and so a little bit tedious. Uh, we need to go in and try to make it look as realistic as possible. After you're done uh, erasing the, the areas that you don't want to include in this layer, obviously remember to save because uh, if your computer crashes you don't want to lose all this work. Uh, then you're going to name the layer. I'll call it Mid Trees. And you're going to throw away the background copy that you used to cut out the trees because it's no use to you. Throw that away and then right click on background and duplicate layer again. So now you got a new background copy. Shut off the mid trees. Now just look at the background copy again, your original photograph. And we're going to do the same steps this time for the foreground. Uh, we're going to use our stamp uh, clone tool and wipe out everything that overlaps with the snow so that you create a layer and then we use our lasso tool, right click on lasso and cut uh, to make a layer. Turn off the background so now all you see is this snow foreground. Use your clone tool to kind of clean it up if there's some areas that your lasso selection didn't include. Uh, and then again throw away the background copy, you don't need that. Rename the layer, we'll call it snow front, something like that. Uh, throw away your background copy and then you're going to right click on uh, the background again, duplicate layer and uh, again you know, we'll call it background copy because we've already thrown away the other background copy and then view it, turn off the other layer that you did and then now we are going to focus on the skier and the little green sign that you see to the left, use the lasso to do a rough selection and then your eraser tool to go back and kind of clean it up once you've got the skier completed uh, again save you're going to name this layer we'll call it skier and then we'll do the same technique for the sign uh, don't forget to right click on the after you do the lasso right click to cut the layer out and uh, once you're done throw away the background copy that you cut these items out of and then you're done now if you want to look at it uh, remember in the lower right hand corner uh, layers need to be stacked in order. Right now we have the background layer on top so that's why you're only seeing the background. So you need to be sure to order with the background at the bottom then your middle trees and the, the foreground. Now go to motion, go to import, 
find the file that you saved. You want to import all layers, not merge. You want all layers separate. So when you do that in motion, it'll create one layer, and then within, within that one layer, it'll show you each different level, uh, photo. We want to put each photo in its own separate layer. So go ahead and create five new layers, and then start with your background. Again, just like in Photoshop, the uh, background needs at the bottom of the list. Whatever's on top of the list shows up on top of whatever's below it. So start with your background, move it up. Then next layer is the trees. Move it to the next new layer that you created. And then there's going to be your foreground, which is the snow. And then on top of the snow, you'll have the green sign. And... Uh, on top of the green sign if you want, or you can do it vice versa if you want the skier behind the sign later, however you want to do it. But uh, in this tutorial, I did the green sign, and then last is the skier. And you'll notice they're in order from skier down to background. You'll have a few uh, layers from the import that are left over. You'll have the original background left over. These things you don't need. So once you get your layers, uh, new layers created, you'll just right click on the layers that you don't need and go down to delete and you'll do this. There should be probably two things that you don't need. And so you're left with these five layers in order from background at the bottom up to the skier at the top and then now you're free to uh, use your creativity to manipulate the different images. Um, I'll show you a couple things and, and how I did it. Uh, as you can see, if you turn off the different layers, you can uh, you know, see how it modifies the picture. Um, don't forget it's on your timeline. You want to be sure to always drag it to the left at the very start of the timeline. Notice that it defaults with that snap uh, imaginary grid. Go up to view and turn off snaps so that you can move the items around as you wish. Uh, here I'm dragging the skier off site. I've got the timeline at the beginning. Hit record. Drag your timeline all the way to the right. And then move the skier to where you want him to be at the end of the timeline. And then when you turn off record and hit play, uh, from the beginning to the end of the timeline, you'll see the skier moves from point A to point B. Uh, this tutorial is taken from videocopilots.net. Uh, if you go to that website and look under tutorials for the virtual 3D photograph, uh, he uses After Effects to basically do the same photograph manipulation. In Motion, the original Motion, there's a under filters, there's distortion, and then a 3D element so that you can change, tilt the, uh, the two-dimensional photograph. You can do some things that are semi-three-dimensional, which you'll see I'm doing there. You can change the X, Y, and Z plane. Uh, on the green side, I have it uh, using three-dimensional changes. I have it turning, so it appears three-dimensional. But uh, obviously not quite as pow powerful as After, After Effects, but hopefully you can see that you can use Apple Motion to do a very similar, get a, a similar result. Again, uh, novice, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to leave some tips and comments. Thanks.